sound like this. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know my name. I'm yeah, the feel. I mean, shit. Being from Cleveland, being in Baltimore is bittersweet. Needing to be in Baltimore as we looking at New York some kind of way. Being from Baltimore as we looking at being from excuse me being from New York as we looking at everybody some kind of way. So obviously, if you know you know what to do or say to sway conversation, you're provoking me. So if I react a certain way, I'm I'm not in the wrong, but I am in the wrong because of what's not being spoken and what's not being spoken determines a lot about conversation. Unless you're Charles Hamilton, and if it changes that impact of the conversation, you gotta ask yourself what you're doing. And if you're not aware of it, I've already made it clear. If you don't want to acknowledge it, we don't have any reason to have any kind of conversation on that level. So, DJ Nick, are you going to be holding it down on the ones and twos? Yes, sir. All right, then. I'm going to do my thing. You know what I'm Follow me on social media when I'm done. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get away with something like this. <laughs> Y'all know my name. I'm I might dye my hair while I got a seizure. Just because I ain't here. And people are saying Pioneer is a brand that you can't stand when I am near. I don't call people out, and my fingers are mixed for the black and white. So all of what people about has to be addressed and sent in a package tonight to the afterlife. Where there's peace and peace of mind because I've reached it, and the peace of minds get reached and possibly deleted when they're not seeing what I'm coming with. Maintaining the straight and narrow, my narrow behind seated but standing. Standard because while you maintain the barrel is in your face waiting to blind you and your brains at the cement, you're in agreement with an agreement where innocence is not being considered, but innocence is simply being a nigga. My, my man said no. Nah. He said straight, no straight punch. take no <laughs> no prisoners. <laughs> I've seen at least seven videos of these young rappers, whether they got face tats or rap sheets. And this is the first time they've ever been heard on a public forum, never mind the fact the video before then might have gone viral. I've seen a lot of Sway freestyles. And these dudes, it's the first time they were ever on Sway, period. So, whatever. But these dudes, they they talk about their $50,000 yacht and their gunplay, this, that, and the third. Nigga, this is the first time I'm hearing you. How, like, where have I been? You know what I'm saying? And that puts me in, like, a youthful depression. Where have I been that I have never heard of you, this, that, and the third? Because you're right in front of me, and you're getting a big endorsement. So, I inhaled. I, I lose. Um, so, you end up in a situation where you got all these kids. Yo, that dude right there looks like a cool version of the cool kid in the school. I want to be like him, 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 him. With uh, Breakfast Club. Before he steps on the mic with flex. You got to be responsible for the things you're saying and what people are going to do based on it. If you want to have bars to have niggas like, ooh, ooh, what are they going to do after? Are they going, ooh, yo, my man. Or are they going to go, yo, that shit was crazy. You got to think about that because it's up to you. If you didn't have that kind of control, you wouldn't even be in that room. Got to keep that in mind. Fina. Oh, yeah, I can get away with something like this. <laughs> Y'all know my name. Sir, all right. Enough is enough. I'm gonna have Thanks, to ask sir. you to I'm leave. Dude. I'm gonna I have know, to ask you I'm to leave. I know, because I'm being a reckless Negro. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna yeah. have to leave, or I will have to call the police. He ain't hiring nobody. Now, go on. You're gonna have a nice day. Feel free to call the police. Just go, go ahead. Just go have a nice day. Call the white delegation. Call everybody. No, it's going down tonight. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? I don't have to ask you to call the police. <laughs> now, why would you want me to call the police? I'm asking you to call the police. That's customer service. Customer's always right. Got it. You're right. I'm psycho. I should get my medication. Strong suggestion. If you have anything funny to say about what I'm doing right now, find out where I am and kill me. Oh, yeah, I can get away with something like this. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know my name. I'm the static of it, like, is like... It's in bits. Kind of, you can't really hear what people saying. I'm not knocking a sound. I understand it. But it's like banging, like, people like Space Ghost Perk when you look on a lo-fi shit. You feel what I'm saying? What do you how how was Space Goals per lo fi if he was using FL Studio? And in his genre he was putting lo fi. Lo fi. That lo fi is not like it 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 technically it is an effect and it's new, but lo fi is not an effect, it's an environment. 
So how is Space Coast Perm lo-fi? Like, you wouldn't know it's lo-fi unless he was recording from an NPC into FL Studio Free Loops and he was doing it through the speakers. That would be the only way you'd know it was lo-fi or not. Because Space Coast Perm's beats sound very clear. You got a lighter? It's extremely high fidelity. But, you know, it sounds as if it was in the same environment as RZA and Wu-Tang Clan and uh, DJ High Tech. You know, Sway and Tech. Uh, Stretch and Bobito. Okay, uh, I can agree with the Wu-Tang, but it's so funny that you said that because I remember back in the day listening to Wu-Tang and now listening to Wu-Tang. I was like, what they was in their own, like a low budget studio and had their own recordings and we didn't care. But I get you what you're saying. But you're very low, more low quality than Luke Wu Tang's. Low quality? It's like you make it low quality. When I mean like not the raps, it's like far as the music. And I guess, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. I understand. You being technical. You're asking me to be technical. Oh, yeah, I can get away with something like this. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know my name. I'm How old did Whitney Houston die if Beyonce is alive? I'm a descendant of Charles Hamilton Houston, who was the original freedom fighter. Y'all want to kill Charles Hamilton Houston? Do you think you was blackballed from the music industry? For every one, uh, for every two compliments, is one naysayer. And I have had, you know, too much nice things to say. I was very diplomatic, when I say diplomatic, I was very uh, sociable. Not even sociable, but professional. I was, each time I was under a recording contract, I was professional. So, you know, I had whatever you know, ill feelings I have towards people are based on, you know, unprofessional actions on their part and, you know, just a gross misunderstanding amongst people who can make a difference um, and myself so I may have expressed things you know through song I was supposed to say let me know what you want to hear you know but I'm still here still spitting you know MCs are different now you know it's totally different different ball game when it comes to rhyming and the beats are different I'm still doing my thing. You know, I hope people check out what I got to say. Can we ever hear you on any new industry type of beats? Not industry beats, but that new wave shit? Like popular beats? Or? No, like new oh. wave shit. Yeah. Like um, with Cardi, Lil Uzi, Lil Yachty. Um, guys like that. Would you ever have on one of them beats? I mean, I actually made, I made a song like... Uh, a new wave song. It was a whole other genre, actually. But I have a few new wave. If you're talking about the the genre, new wave, minimalist songs. My genre. Uh, this is before vampire music. New hop is essentially trip hop, electro, trance, and spoken word. That's new hop. Over time, I developed vampire music, evil classical, dead funk, um, shy hop. Well, I was, I was shy hop was specifically 2012, but shy hop. Um, Do you that. honestly like new rappers right now, bro? Like the new shit, the new rapping, the new style of rap. Do you like that shit personally? I mean, there's only one way to rap, you know. What's but that way? Put it down, you put it down like this. You know, hip hop is like jazz. Hip hop is a lot like jazz. You know what to do on your instrument. You know, just express yourself. You don't have to play the exact song. 
unless you have to play the exact song. Hip hop is just like jazz. Same attitudes, yep, hip, yeah. Anybody you want to work with right now? Anderson Park, Rhapsody, Tierra White. That's who you want to work with. Lil Dicky, Rest in Peace Triple X, Kodak Black, 21 Savage, Tokyo Jets. The masses to an undeniable resource of energy for entertainment, for defense sake. You know, defense in this sense could be everything from, you know, I can't get this dude in the street, so I'm gonna take it out on him in the booth, or, you know, defending your capability to live by getting money. But you gotta respect the father, you gotta respect the Godfather, the fucking, the, the cool, uncool Herc, you know what I'm saying? Uncool Herc, C.H., the Phenom, Charles Hamilton, C. Di Hamilton, S.T.H., Knights Mayfield. Oh, that's cool. Just live.